how the stars are getting there. Now, I know you wouldn't expect it, but they often travel in greater <laughs> luxury than us. Hard to believe. And one of the top coach companies to the stars is based in the village of Erith in Cambridgeshire. Joe Black is there now. Hi, Joe. Stuart, it's amazing what you find in the fens, don't you think? Look at this bus, little gem. You just think it's a normal bus, don't you? Well, it isn't. Come inside, come on board and take a look around here. That's David over there fiddling with the DVD player. We'll have a chat with him in a moment. But this is the kitchen area, everything you might expect. Fridge there, all the mod cons. This is quite important. There you go, fridge full of beer. Just what you need after a gig. Some of the best loved pop and rock stars will have used this bus as a, a glorified taxi or a hotel on wheels. And this is the lounge area where people come after they've gigged. Screens everywhere, as you can see. Televisions, PlayStations, selection of DVDs, books. Let's have a quick chat with David Collier, who runs the company who uh, has these band buses. David, this bus must have a few stories to tell. Who exactly have you had on board here? Um, on this one, we've carried the Kaiser Chiefs, ZZ Top, Lily Allen, Sugar Babes, and uh, to name just a few in the last few years. Um, the rest, are, well, we'll be here for hours. Uh, it's been used for the X Factor as well, we understand. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, James Morrison is being prepared for James Morrison this week, I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It got back today from tour, and it leaves on Thursday um, on his tour, which he starts now from Thursday till Monday, and it gets back from there um, on, on, on Monday morning. We should be able to see some pictures of upstairs. It sleeps 14. It's got all the mod cons, the PlayStations, the screens, all the things we were saying. Yeah. Pop stars have a reputation for throwing these screens out the window. Have you ever had anything like that at all? Uh, we, had a, we have had an incident on this bus where the, the, the screen on the other side of the lounge chair was broken in some dubious way. But again, what goes on tour stays on tour. Thank you very much, David. It's been an absolute nightmare. You won't give me any gossip at all, which has been driving me crazy. But this really is the ultimate way of luxurious travel. Any pop star would really like to come on board. And can you imagine going to work in one of these? It would certainly make sitting in all those jams on the A14 much more pleasurable. Bunk beds for pop stars, eh? <laughs> I know, there were a lot of them back then, there, weren't there? Now, just before the weather, congratulations to John Morris, the cemetery caretaker at Whittam in Essex. John was nominated for a national award back in May after people described how helpful he was and how he always had time to listen to people. Well, today, 40 years of dedication paid off as he became the Council Worker of the Year. Well done to him. Congratulations. Let's have a look at the weather, Jim.